Question 1. When merging onto a highway, you should A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Slow down and wait for a gap in traffic. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. When merging onto a highway, it's best to speed up to match the flow of traffic and merge when it is safe to do so. Question 2. What does a solid white line on the right edge of the road indicate? A. No passing zone. B. The edge of the traffic lane. C. One-way traffic. Answer. B. The edge of the traffic lane. A solid white line on the right edge of the road marks the edge of the roadway or shoulder. Question 3. True or false? You must yield to all pedestrians in a crosswalk. Answer. True. California law requires you to yield the right of way to pedestrians in a marked or unmarked crosswalk. Question 4. What should you do if you are involved in a minor traffic collision and there are no injuries? A. Leave the scene immediately. B. Move the vehicles off the road if it's safe. C. Wait for the police before moving anything. Answer. B. Move the vehicles off the road if it's safe. If no one is injured and the vehicles are blocking the road, they should be moved to a safe area. Question 5. A yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black symbol warns you to A. Stop ahead. B. Be prepared for specific road conditions. C. Expect a no-passing zone. Answer. B. Be prepared for specific road conditions. These signs are used to warn of possible dangers or changing conditions ahead. Question 6. At an intersection without stop or yield signs, uncontrolled intersection, you should A. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. B. Yield to vehicles already in the intersection. C. Always drive straight through without slowing down. Answer. B. Yield to vehicles already in the intersection. At uncontrolled intersections, you should yield to vehicles that are already in the intersection. Question 7. True or false? It is legal to use a handheld cell phone while driving in California if you are over 18. Answer. False. It is illegal for all drivers to use a handheld cell phone while driving in California. Question 8. What should you do when an emergency vehicle approaches with flashing lights and a siren? A. Speed up and clear the way. B. Pull over to the right edge of the road and stop. C. Continue driving at the same speed. Answer. B. Pull over to the right edge of the road and stop. Always yield the right of way to emergency vehicles. Question 9. Children under what age must ride in a federally approved child passenger restraint system? A. 4. B. 6. C. 8. Answer. C. 8. In California, children under 8 years old must be secured in a car seat or booster in the back seat. Question 10. When can you legally drive on the shoulder of a highway? A. When traffic is moving below 25 miles per hour. B. To pass another vehicle. C. Under no circumstances. Answer. C. Under no circumstances. It's illegal to drive on the shoulder unless directed by a peace officer. Question 11. How far ahead should you signal before making a turn? A. 50 feet. B. 100 feet. C. 200 feet. Answer. B. 100 feet. Always signal for at least 100 feet before making a turn or lane change. Question 12. True or false? Motorcyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as other drivers on the road. Answer. True. Motorcyclists are entitled to the same full lane width as other vehicles. Question 13. What is the safest action to take when your vehicle's right wheels leave the pavement? A. Pull over immediately. B. Take your foot off the gas, and when it's safe, ease back onto the road. C. Brake hard and turn the steering wheel sharply to the left. Answer. B. 
take your foot off the gas, and when it's safe, ease back onto the road. Question 14. What does a flashing red traffic light signal mean? A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. The same as a stop sign. C. The light is broken. Answer. B. The same as a stop sign. You should come to a complete stop, yield to all other traffic and pedestrians, and proceed when it's safe. Question 15. When parking uphill with a curb, which way should you turn your front wheels? A. Towards the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Straight ahead. Answer. B. Away from the curb. This ensures that if the car rolls, it will roll away from traffic. Question 16. In a school zone, when children are close to the street, you should drive no faster than A. 15 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. Answer. A. 15 miles per hour. This reduced speed helps ensure the safety of children near the roadway. Question 17. True or false? Seat belts are optional for drivers and passengers in California. Answer. False. Seat belt use is mandatory for all vehicle occupants. Question 18. At night, if an oncoming vehicle fails to dim their high beams, you should A. Flash your high beams rapidly. B. Look towards the right edge of your lane. C. Accelerate past the vehicle. Answer. B. Look towards the right edge of your lane. This helps to avoid being blinded by the oncoming headlights. Question 19. A green arrow pointing left on a traffic light means A. Yield to oncoming traffic. B. You have the right of way to turn left. C. Left turns are not allowed. Answer. B. You have the right of way to turn left. However, always ensure the intersection is clear before proceeding. Question 20. If two vehicles arrive at a four-way stop at the same time. A. The vehicle on the left goes first. B. The vehicle on the right goes first. C. Whichever vehicle is faster goes first. Answer. B. The vehicle on the right goes first. Question 21. True or false? Bicyclists in California are required to use hand signals for turns and stops. Answer. True. Like motorists, bicyclists must signal their intentions to other road users. Question 22. A pedestrian crossing at a corner without a marked crosswalk. A. Must yield to you. B. Should wait until you pass before crossing. C. Has the right of way. Answer. C. Has the right of way. Always yield to pedestrians at intersections. Question 23. The safest place for children 12 years old and under to ride in a vehicle equipped with airbags is A. The front seat. B. The back seat. C. The passenger's lap. Answer. B. The back seat. The force of an airbag can injure or kill young children in the front seat. Question 24. What is the primary purpose of highway rumble strips? A. To alert drowsy or inattentive drivers. B. To provide traction on slippery roads. C. To mark the edge of the carpool lane. Answer. A. To alert drowsy or inattentive drivers. The vibration and noise produced by rumble strips can wake up a drowsing driver or get their attention. Question 25. When two vehicles meet on a steep mountain road where neither can pass, which vehicle has the right of way? A. The vehicle traveling downhill. B. The vehicle traveling uphill. C. The heavier vehicle. Answer. B. The vehicle traveling uphill. The vehicle going uphill always has the right of way because it is harder to start moving uphill than to back down. Question 26. What is the shape of a stop sign? A. Square. B. Triangle. C. Octagon. Answer. C. Octagon. Stop signs are octagonal in shape and require a complete stop before proceeding. Question 27. What color are warning signs? A. Yellow. B. Red. C. 
blue? Answer. A. Yellow. Warning signs are generally yellow with black symbols or text. Question 28. A red circle with a white background and a red line through it means. A. No entry. B. No stopping. C. Speed limit enforced. Answer. A. No entry. This sign indicates that vehicles may not enter the area. Question 29. A rectangular orange sign is generally. A. A stop sign. B. A construction warning sign. C. A school zone sign. Answer. B. A construction warning sign. Orange signs often indicate road work or construction hazards. Question 30. What does a yellow pennant-shaped sign indicate? A. School zone. B. No passing zone. C. Yield ahead. Answer. B. No passing zone. A yellow pennant sign is used to indicate the beginning of a no passing zone.